John Spence, trusted consultant, respected advisor, experienced strategist, passionate speaker, well-read author, a top 100 business thought leader, helping Fortune 500 businesses and executives achieve more success every day. Today I'd like to share with you what I call the four D's of success. Now I am not a motivational speaker, I'm an informational speaker, but I do listen to a lot of motivational speakers and read their books because they've got some great ideas and it's a thing that keeps me pumped up, focused, uh, excited and re-energizes me. So I was listening to a couple of different tapes this last weekend and I read a few books in the last couple of months and I'm going to compile a few of these ideas around what, what if you look at all the leading experts in this area and based Truthfully, on my experience and the, the very successful people I've met, I think there are four D's that are foundational to helping you be a high achiever, a highly successful person. The first D is desire. Another word you might want to use is passion. Uh, I think it's just pretty straightforward. If, you're, if you don't desire something strongly, if you're not passionate about it, it's pretty hard to become world class at it. It's pretty hard to achieve a high level of success if you're not passionate about the area and you don't desire you know, success strongly. And the neat thing about this to me is uh, if you desire it strongly and you're passionate and you're engaged and you really love the, the, the goal that you're pursuing, the vision you have, that it never feels like work. It always feels like fun. You're, you're pursuing something you strongly desire, something you enjoy, something that energizes you, something you love. So you've got to have a real strong desire. Now, a lot of people struggle with this. They go, but John, you know, I, I don't know what I desire. I don't have a passion or I don't have a vision for my life. Well, a couple things. Uh, first of all, you need one. <laughs> you really do. It's critical. That's why I'm doing this video. You got to have something you desire to achieve, a vision for your life, a passion. Um, but if you don't have it, I mean, it's just, it, you, know, it's, you don't just wake up one morning, bam, oh, I know my whole life's goals. Yeah, yeah. it's something you work on, you know. Um, most of the people watching this video will, will have between five and seven careers in their lives, not jobs, careers. I'm 50 and I'm on career number five. I've jumped around a lot of places. I get something, oh, it's fun, it's great, it's awesome for a couple of years, then it gets a little boring and I want to try something different. Um, I've been at this last thing as a speaker for about 17 years and I, I still enjoy it a great deal. I'm very passionate about it. I desire to do well at this strongly. So for me, this still drives me, but you know, go out and experiment, you know, ask people what they do, expose yourself, try some things. Uh, you, know, you don't have to pick the one thing you're gonna do for the rest of your life today. Now, some of you might be very lucky and you might have that. You might know your one true desire. You might have, you, know, you might have known it since you were three years old. I mean, you just, bam, I've always wanted to do this. Congratulations if, if that's you. If that's not you, do not worry, that's mo it's not most people. But the only way to find out about it is to go explore, experiment, test, ask people, talk to people, interview people, do everything you can, and then pick something that looks interesting, that you have some desire for, and pursue it for a while, and it may or may not be the key thing that you latch onto. If it is, wow, awesome. If it's not, eh, try something new. The second D is direction. Once you figure out what you desire, what you're passionate about, what you really, really enjoy, what you want to accomplish, then you have to create a path, a map, a plan to get there. And I'll use the acronym from my real good friend, Tom Morris, uh, who wrote the book True Success and a couple other great books, one of my favorite authors in the world. Uh, he said, in true success, you must have a plan. You've got to prepare for the journey, launch into action, adjust or analyze as you go, and network with those who know probably the, one of the best success acronyms I've ever heard in my life. So you've got to sit down with a pen, pencil and paper, pen and paper, or at your computer, or on your iPad, and actually write down some goals. Write down a direction. Write down where you'd like to be in one year, three years, five years. And the reason this is so important is it allows you to figure out what to say yes to and what to say no to. You know, um, another one of my favorite quotes is, the quality of the questions you ask yourself and others will determine the quality of your life. And one of the questions you get to ask yourself once you've created a direction is, is the thing I'm going to do right now going to take me in the direction of my desire, of my vision, of my path, or is it not? And if it's not, then you have to have the courage to say no, the discipline, which is the next D. We'll talk about that in a minute. But you got to look at it and say, this won't help me get where I want to go. Well, watching... 11 hours of TV this weekend help me achieve what I want. Well, if you're going to become a TV analyst, uh, yeah, maybe it will. But for the rest of us, maybe you need to say no to some of that stuff so that you can spend time on things that, that are going to take you in the direction of what you desire. you got to have a plan.
The next D, which I alluded to just a minute ago, is discipline. Once you figure out what you desire, what you're passionate about, the direction of your life, what you want to go for, and you've created that plan, you have to have the discipline to stay focused on the plan. Uh, years ago, I did a huge speech for uh, IBM, and they asked me to, to, to boil it down to the essence of excellence. And here's what I came up with. Three, three letters, F-D-A. Focus, discipline, action. You gotta focus intently on the thing that you desire and your direction, your plan. Focus intently on those every day. Then you have to have the discipline to do the things that will move you in that direction and not get distracted, not get pulled off track, not spend time on things that won't add value, won't make you happy, won't make you joyful, won't give you a, a clear path to success. And then the amount of action you apply determines the amount of results you get. A Little bit of focus, a uh, little bit of discipline. You know what you're supposed to do, but you don't do it. A little bit of action, the outcome is mediocrity. And it's very clear. Once you start settling for mediocrity in your life, you become a magnet for mediocrity in your life. Don't want to do that. Uh, so you've got to have the discipline to say, yes, this is what I want, and pursue it, and be, and have grit, and have determination, and have patience, and have persistence, and keep working forward, and stay disciplined that entire time. But again, if it's something you desire, something you're passionate about, it's focused on your values, like giving back, helping, achievement, success, then every day that you're disciplined is a day that you're creating positive disciplined habits. You know, a lot of people think discipline is hard, you know? No, if you're, if you're being disciplined for something you really love, something you desire, something that will make your life better, other people's lives better, your family's life better, then the discipline is a joy. The discipline is awesome because the discipline allows you to make progress. And every day you make progress, you say the discipline isn't hard. It's just saying no to the things that won't help me and saying yes and moving in the direction of things that will. That brings me to the last and final D, which is drive. Uh, I just said it a little bit before, but it, it's... It, all the things I've set up to now are ideas. I've got an idea of what I desire. I've, I've written a plan, but it is, when it's written down, it's, it's awesome, but it's still just a theory. It's a thing and piece on paper. Um, I have discipline to say no, but if I don't drive hard towards it, then I will never get there. Because, you know, for most of us, the goals we set are fairly high, fairly lofty. We want to achieve uh, fulfillment, success, happiness at a high level. Well, that doesn't come with mediocre work or, or a little teeny bit of work or a little teeny bit of effort. It comes with a lot of effort, but it also delivers a lot of reward. So the more you drive, the more energy, the more effort, uh, the more help, the more assistance, the more things you put towards your desire, your direction, and with discipline, the more results you get. I'll end this with one of my very favorite quotes, and I think it applies to everything I just said. Actually, I just decided to give you two quotes. Uh, that I think will wrap this up. Uh, first one came from a, a dear friend of mine that was a mentor years ago. She was a top psychologist, had been a psychologist for 50 plus years. And I asked her, what's the single most important thing you've learned? You know, after five decades of helping people turn their lives around, get on track, do the sort of things I'm telling you about here with the four Ds, what's the biggest thing you've learned? She didn't hesitate. She looked right at me and said, John, people do what seems easy and convenient in their lives, not what is best for them. Uh, the things I'm talking about with the 4Ds are not easy or convenient, definitely, but they are what's best for you. Which leads me to the last quote I want to share with you, which is a little, little harsh, but it's true. You know, and sometimes people have a hard time looking at something that's a little aggressive and saying, yeah, that's true because it, it's hard. But I'm going to give you the quote and, and it'll hit home. Uh, successful people willingly do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. It's not that unsuccessful people are necessarily not that smart or bright or talented. It's just they won't pick a direction. They don't have discipline uh, and they don't have enough drive. It's not a lack of talent all the time. It's just a lack of willingness to get up early, stay up late and have discipline and massive drive towards something you strongly desire. Uh, for those of us that do that, uh, the rewards are magnificent. The rewards are wonderful. You get, up, get to get up every day and go, I love my life. I'm having a great time. Sure, it can get better. It's never perfect. Everybody, me, everybody has down times, difficulties, challenges, but I'd much rather be up here on really, really great life every now and then down instead of mediocre life every now and then up. Wouldn't you? So the idea here is, is you've got to willingly do with excitement, with passion, with joy, the things that many other people are unwilling to do. And because of that, you will then have the benefit of success and achievement that other people want, but they don't achieve because they're not willing to put in the effort and time. 
I hope you found this video helpful. I really hope you put some comments down below. Add the things that you think it takes to be highly successful and achieve a great deal. Ooh, I, I almost forgot. Quick PS. Uh, I've been nominated for an award, uh, Top 100 Small Business Influencers in America. I uh, was lucky enough to win this last year. Uh, actually, we'll go with the 4D things. In the, in the last year, I've been named uh, one of the top 100 business thought leaders in America, top 500 leadership development experts in the world, and a top 100 small business influencer. And I tell you not, not from ego, but to be a living example of what I've just taught you with the four Ds. You know, that didn't happen by chance, fate, or good luck. I didn't wake up one day, well, awards started coming in, or, well, you know, I'm suddenly a leadership expert. No, it took reading about 3,000 books on leadership and business and working at it for 20 years, but this was the goal I had. When I, as soon as I went into this field, I said, if I'm going to do this for a living, I want to be one of the best in the world at what I do. And it's the four D's that got me there. I had a strong desire to achieve at this level. Uh, I've had a very clear direction for 20 years, a written plan, 12, 13 pages long. I look at it every week. Uh, I've been exceedingly disciplined about reading, about studying, about learning, about jumping on planes and flying to the other side of the world to do classes and learn things because I knew it was required to get to this level. Uh, and then the last thing is I've put massive action into it, a tremendous amount of drive. So um, if you feel so inclined, I would love your vote. Uh, you're only allowed to vote once, which I love that. It's not a popularity contest, but I've put a link down here below. Just jump down and vote on it. If you'd like to spread it to your network, that would be great. But most of all, this little PS was to say, this isn't just theory. This works. I know because I've applied the four Ds for my entire career, and I hope you will too.